Hello everybody and welcome to another general vlog video. Today we are outside. Um, it's a little chilly. It's about 55 degrees out um, and I have to do this outside. I have 20 foot and these are actually in two. Each, You guys can't see. Fire that cameraman. You guys can't see what I'm doing. So each one of these is two angle irons and I'm basically trying to make one out of them. I'm gonna make square channel to help me with the building. They're 20 foot long. They're kind of heavy, but not too bad. So basically what I'm, I can't weld today because it's very windy out here. Um, I would turn you around and show you how bad my flags are moving, but then somebody would comment bad on my flags and it's just not worth all that. Let's get you back up here for just a second. So, Basically what I'm going to start doing is grinding this to make it clean to be able to weld. So I'll kind of show you up here what I'm doing and I'm pointing right down here. So this is what I'm going to be doing. You can't weld through rust and get a good solid hold. So I'm going to be taking this angle grinder with a floppy disk on it and i'm going to be cleaning up the edges edges is all i'm worried about because that's the only place i'm going to weld so i'm going to forewarn you first noise alert and sparks cover your eyes and plug your ears so and i'll show you guys what i'm doing So basically, you can see that some worked out better than the others. I don't know how well that's going to show up on camera. Right in through here was perfect. Here, it's a little bit pitted, so but it's still clean enough to weld. So I have to do that 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. Uh, no, 20, 40, 60, 80. 80 and 80 is 160. So 160 foot worth. So... I'll let you guys kind of stand back and watch me. Like I said, it's going to be loud and there's going to be some sparks, but I'll let you watch a little bit. You can kind of see what I'm doing. And then I'll explain to you once I get these two clean, I'll put them together and show you exactly what I got to do. So this is all part of moving this 20 by 40 or 50 pole barn. So I'll explain all that here in just a minute. So I'm going to kind of put you guys off to the side over here and just kind of let you watch. And you'll see a little bit of work, but I've got to go in here for just a second, and I'll be right back. All right, getting ready to get started, and of course, safety first. So we'll put a, put a pair of glasses, keep sparks from out of my eyes, and I'll get this done, and I'll film it for a little while. Well, as you can see, this is going to take a little while. I also, once I'm done, I got to go back and do what will we say? Um, I don't know. It feels like about a thousand foot of these edges too. But this is like it. That's it. You can see how that brightened that up, and that'll give me a good spot to weld to. It. So let me get a little bit of this done, and you guys probably couldn't hear any of that because I didn't wait until the thing was done running. So let me get this done, and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so I don't know how well you guys can see this on camera, but 
it's done. It took about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Oh, here comes UPS. I don't think he's coming here. Basically, my goal here is to take this and flip it. It's hard to work with 20 foot sections by yourself. So take this and then flip it onto this. Oh, that almost worked. To create a box. Uh, now I've had it on there before. I don't know why it's not working now. There we go. I just had to hold my mouth right and do it correctly. So basically, the reason I only needed to clean the edges is because that's where I'm welding right there along that edge and along this edge down here so I think what I'm going to try to do it is a little windy but I think I ought to be able to put all oh, 10 or 15 spot welds on each side get it all squared up and even to where I need it to be and then I've got something to work with so let me get my welder and everything set up and we'll try that all right this is going to be tricky because I just had it where I wanted, and just the vibration of the UPS man going back out knocked it out of place. So I'm going to basically have to get my welder all set up and put a spot on it, which I got to figure out ground. Um, yeah. So give me just a second. Uh, I don't need to stick my finger right in front of the camera. All right. So basically, that's my setup. I've already got one tack on it. Um, I need to adjust my welder a little bit. Let me go ahead and do that now. All right. So I had to weld a bolt to it to have a place to ground, but that's no biggie. You know, I can get the majority of it. I have to work basically what's on this trailer. I can work from here to the end of the trailer, and then I have to flip it, which I can do with the ground that I have, and then I have to move the ground in order to slide it to the left or the right to finish the other ends. And like I said, I'm just going to put a couple tacks on it. That way, when I am able to weld, it'll go quickly. So, um, let me get my helmet and all that, and I'll bring you guys right back. Okay, so basically, you know, you can see I got my helmet on. Um, we're basically just going to tack it about every two foot, a short, quick tack to where I can get it square and then I can flip it around and be able to manipulate it the way that I need to, to be able to get good tack welds on it. So here we go. Watch your eyes. I'm probably going to be blocking most of it. And this is also my disclaimer, I am not a welder. I can weld, but I'm not a welder. So let me get down right over here. I'm probably gonna be in your guys' way. There we go. Now let's go back down this way a little bit. Ouch. Would help if I'd pick up my tools. We've got to uh, get this side up there. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, and that one slipped. Gosh darn it. Why did it slip? Now I gotta grind that one back down and redo it. Try that one more time. Am 
Am I out of your guys' view area? I probably am. Anyways, I'm going to continue doing this. And I'll bring you back once I've got this in here to where I can do something with it. Okay, so what I'm doing now is not called spot or uh, tack welding. It's called spot welding. And I'm just trying to get it lined up. And then I'll go back over and throw, you know, 10 tacks on each side, a little bit long. And then I'll go back through and finish it. Everything's looking really good so far. Um, I'm just going to continue. Did I somehow, I did, I somehow missed that edge. Noise alert. Right. So let me get this all spot welded up and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, we're back. If you guys hear some kids screaming in the background, they're just, some kids are over here playing. So, basically, I've got it tacked, but not spotted. If you guys can see, the sun has gone away. The wind has really picked up. It's got a lot colder. I think it's getting ready to rain. And I would like to get the other one at least spot welded so I have the opportunity to come back and tack weld it. But I've got it. it it's, it's solid. It's, uh, it's heavy. Um, it's extremely heavy. It's going to be very solid, and once it's tacked about every six inches to eight inches to maybe even a foot, um, it's going to be be able to do exactly what I want it to do. So real quick, let me uh, pause this. Not the best lighting in here in the world because you guys are get, probably getting blinded by this kind of stuff, but these are going to go on the front of my pole barn that I'm getting ready to move because I have a 10 foot wide door by 10 foot tall door. And this is gonna go down in the bottom to brace it so I can hook something up to it to be able to pull it. Just so you know what it is. Anyways, with all that being said, you guys, I'm gonna jump off of here. You already see what I'm doing. There's no sense in me showing you the second one. Um, this is what I'm doing. Maybe I'll bring you back when I'm doing the tack welding, not the spot welding. And I'll show you how much it'll strengthen it up and everything. With all that being said, you guys, please give us a video a thumbs up. Like the video, please comment down below. If you're not already subscribed, please click that subscribe button. Smash that bell notification. Go all the way up and click all so you'll be notified on every single video that we post. And follow us on Facebook under General Vlog Video. And share us on your social media platforms. And remember that when I ask you to subscribe, it's not like a magazine subscription. It does not cost a dime. It's 100% free. It just helps our channel grow the same way a thumbs up helps our channel grow. With all that being said, I hope you guys have a great day and even better tomorrow and an awesome night. And I want to thank you guys personally for hanging out with me and watching, not really trying to show you how to do anything, just showing you how I'm doing things and how I'm getting through this move of this building. And I was getting ready to say, with all that being said, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, um, hope you guys have a great night, and please remember to be safe. And I'm going to go out here and see if I can't help this guy. He's been through here about 10 times. I think he's lost. With all that, please have a great day, and please, please, please stay safe. I'll see you on the next video.